I just feel like that stereotype really needs to die because it's it's just the most ridiculous colorist shit I've ever like it's just it's ridiculous to me it's so stupid hey queens hey kings welcome back to my channel it's Sydney and Alicia here make sure you subscribe before you leave today's video we're going to be talking about Zeta Phi Beta sorority incorporated stereotypes and how I don't fit into them and why you shouldn't necessarily choose an organization just based on their stereotypes <music> So I'm just going to basically go through all of the, the, the basic stereotypes that you hear about Zetas and I'm going to let you know exactly whether or not I fit into that stereotype or if I don't. So the first stereotype that you all know about Zetas if you're interested in D9 and digit research, you know that Zetas are usually ugly. Um, at least that's what it says. That's the stereotype that goes along with it. And me personally, I don't find myself to be ugly. Um, I haven't been told I was ugly since I, you know, got through the whole puberty phase. But as far as college goes, I wasn't I wasn't really told I was ugly. Um, so I don't personally feel like I'm ugly. Hey, if you think I'm ugly, that's cool. But like I don't think I fit the bill of being ugly. The next stereotype that is very, very, very typical for Zetas is that they're fat. Um, I weigh exactly 107 pounds. I'm five feet tall. I'm petite. I am small. I'm usually the tiniest person in the room. So I don't think I necessarily fit that bill. Well, obviously, I don't fit that bill. So just because you think Zetas are fat, like you're not going to meet a lot of Zetas that you're going to meet Zetas of all shapes and sizes. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about it and you're like, oh, I'm really tiny or I'm small or I'm petite. Like, I'm not, I can't be a Zeta. No, like anybody, any shape or size can be a Zeta. Um, the next stereotype is that <laughs> it kind of goes hand in hand with that, that Zetas can cook. Now, let me tell you something. I can cook to survive, but I, I don't think I'd be able to like throw down a Thanksgiving meal all by myself. Like I personally didn't grow up in the kitchen like cooking so yeah but I also know a lot of Zetas that did grow up in the kitchen cooking but I mean I know a lot of women especially black women who used to cook with their grandmas or their dads or their moms in the kitchen you know and that's just normal and they could be whatever organization you think so just because you're thinking like oh damn I can't cook I don't throw down like that like let me say something I know plenty of Zetas that can cook and I know some Zetas that are like we're going to their house <laughs> for this um meeting or conference or whatever like we're going to her house because we know she's gonna have the good stuff um, the next stereotype um, with Zetas is that they're dark, like they're they're burnt or whatever, you know, because you know like how it goes, like AK is supposed to be the light, fair skin, Deltas are supposed to be dark too, but Zetas are also supposed to be like dark and burnt. Even to me, I feel like they make that sound like it's a negative thing when really like being dark skin is beautiful. Like I don't see the problem with that, but historically like there's more to it, you know, and I'm not going to get into that piece of it, but you know, especially in the black community, like darker skin is viewed as uglier or, or not as valuable as lighter and brighter skin tones. So if you are um, a light skin, fair woman, young lady, and you're wanting to be a Zeta, like, trust me, like there's plenty of Zetas of all colors and shade ranges. And I just feel like that stereotype really needs to die because it's, it's just the most ridiculous colorist shit I've ever, like, it's just, it's ridiculous to me. It's so stupid. And obviously, you, you see my skin tone. I'm a brown skin. I'm on the, I don't know, I feel like I've been told I'm dark skin, but I've also been told I'm just brown skin. I just say I'm black. Like, you, you guys can clearly see, make the determination for yourself whether or not I fit into that stereotype. So another stereotype is that Zetas are natural or nappy headed. I've been told or I've heard that before, like when I was looking into sororities. And again don't see the big deal with that like I don't I don't see the problem with being natural um I entered college with a haircut I maybe I'll enter insert a photo maybe not I don't know because honestly I looked real hit but I did have like a short haircut like I mean like haircut and I was natural so to me like I feel like who cares if you're natural or if you decide to wear extensions or you're wearing a wig or braids whatever like it doesn't matter like as long as you don't hate your hair, as long as you don't damage your hair and put all these crazy chemicals in your hair, I don't see the issue. And me personally, I fit into that stereotype because I was natural when I entered college and started pursuing um, the organization. But I would also wear sewings and stuff like that, like periodically from time to time. So those are all the stereotypes I wanted to hit in this video. I just wanted to make this video because right now my little sister is in college. She's in her freshman year. She's going into our sophomore year. And she started looking to sororities. And she asked me questions about stereotypes and what she would identify as. And I tell her all the time, like, stereotypes are just that. Like, it's not necessarily true. You're always going to find 
a person or a member of, of that organization that falls inside and maybe falls into that stereotype. It doesn't matter as long as you identify with the principles and the morals and the work of that organization. That's why you should join. Um, You shouldn't just join because you've, you've been told that you look like that particular organization because I've been told that I look like, I've been told that I don't look like a Zeta and I feel like what the hell like what does that mean like what does the zeta look like you know what i mean so just keep that in mind i did want to pop on here and make this video i hope it was helpful to whoever out there is also looking at different organizations i really hope my sister chooses to be a zeta but i'm not pushing it on her you know i just i want her to discover it and figure it out for herself and make the decision that's best for her so yeah but i'm low-key i'll go keep on her to be a zeta like comment down below like would you want like your sibling to be in the same organization as you like if you're a guy would you and you're alpha would you also want your little brother to be an alpha like i feel like that's basic like that's that's common like you're gonna want your sister or your sibling to follow in your footsteps right like i don't know maybe that's just me but anyway i hope guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and as always stay real bye guys